we're going to have a look at Roundspot's AutoFrame application. When it is started without any feeds, you will get a pop-up saying that you have no feeds configured. We'll get rid of that. Then we go into RSS feeds to add our feed. Click Custom Feed. Then type in the address of your blog. Search and you will find all the feeds that are listed on that page. Select one, save it. You can also change the name of the feed just to help you keep track of your different feeds. You don't have to use the default name. Click Save. Go back to Settings and then back to Start the Slideshow. First time the feed is loaded, it might take a little while. And it also depends on the size of the images that are being downloaded. If you click on the screen, you can go into Settings, and you come back to the screen again. You can determine how many, how many images should be shown for each feed, how often it should be refreshed. You can do it at startup only, or for example, five minutes. It will refresh all the feeds each five minutes. You can also decide the transition style. And here we're going to go from left to right instead, in a sliding fashion. Just like that. If go back to settings. You can also have featured feeds, which is new in this version. We've had a couple of feeds that are quite popular and have some nice images. So you can easily select without searching for them. They're defined in categories, such as funny and lolcat is a pretty big feed that a lot of people use. And now both the Flickr feed we added ourselves and the lolcast feeds will be integrated into one slideshow. You can also change the total number of images to show. This is for the entire slideshow with all the feeds, 20 images we set here. And then you can also determine how long each image should be shown in the slideshow. When you start the application next time, it will automatically go into the slideshow mode if you have any feeds configured. Like so. You can also uh, use this on your iPod Touch or iPhone when you're in flight mode or you don't have a network connection. Uh, however, uh, of course no feeds will be updated at this time. You will also get a warning message when you start the application. But all the images you have previously downloaded are free to be viewed. You can also Browse the images manually with the toolbar shown below. Thank you very much.